Please and it to all my subscribers, my viewers, the obedient family, active citizens and Nigerians. Thank you for joining me once again. Now, let me start this video by saying my heart goes out to the people of Borno State, Medugri, that are experiencing one of the toughest times in Nigeria, the flood that have really swept a lot of places that have destroyed businesses that have destroyed houses livelihoods and all that in fact it is very very bad to an extent that people are literally sleeping outside the flood of over, over there's an overwhelming all over with the hospitals you know the zoo where the animals are the animals are literally walking freely in town and all that and so much so much you know disadvantages that is what happens when we don't take cognizance to what we have in place and when it it, it start getting bad and fix it that is what happens when you have a government that is redundant i pray that god really you know help them to be able to come out of this situation as fast as they can because the situation is really really you know terrible and it's painful and all that to see that nigerians have to go through this pain even with the current hardship people who have lost their their livelihoods people who have lost farms have been over flooded you know a lot of things houses you know completely the people are devastated that's just what i'll call it and you can actually see it i just put up the videos there so that you can actually see for yourself now having said this let me dive into basics what i want to talk about today now peter obi has landed Bini, and trust me it's a complete shutdown i can tell you that no matter how they try to sell the propaganda of the Igbos against the Bini or the Bini against the Igbos or the edo people against the Igbos and all that those things don't work because the smart ones understand the gimmicks of you know the politicians that actually uh, what they are actually playing at and that is why they don't give ear to all those noises it's a massive massive shutdown and you know a lot a lot of people are actually there olimidia pata is is enjoying some level of you know koinonia with peter obi and that has dragged a lot of people to his side the truth is no matter how they try to sell the wrong narrative eventually you know the truth will always find its way through peter obi is in Benin and it's a complete shutdown i'm going to be showing you that video in the chief but before i do that let me quickly show you a video and when i come back we'll continue the president doesn't know everything i frankly am very disappointed in tinubu very disappointed i thought he understood economics now i realize he's just a bookkeeper he how do you a, mean bookkeeper? because bookkeeper is a, is an accountant he's an accountant he collects money accounts for it but to develop business to develop the economy takes a business mind somebody who has run industry before employers employees understand the give and take in business evidently he doesn't know it and he's not listening every day increase fuel now it's also fuel that they increase for this country transport and a problem see my children now they talk from worry from worry to Lagos. Because of my problem, I suppose go, I suppose go worry, go carry the come. Or somebody where big, go follow the come. But the transport too much. I have to put them for transport. If not, be say I don't for it, tested and trusted. They have to wait be picking. These two should so much children now. They will be there from Warrico Lagos. Because transport too much. Only one of these one has 24,000. 24,000. That means if I won't go carry them now, I will pay 24 go, 24 come back, 24 for this one, 24 for this one. You want to kill us? Last year from Warri to Lagos is 10,000. Apart from my children, they still will be other children where small parcel. Just because the parents don't fit school, pay the transport, join the children. Very soon as school resume, and I'm trying to wait these children to go to school. <laughs> now you've seen it right i intentionally played that video and I, the truth is a lot of people that believed in the capacity of the economics the capacity of the the knowledge of the we built lagos i built lagos concept are now seeing the realities that this man didn't do nothing at the end of the day even the lagos they have started noticing that he no do nothing now capital before so definitely a lot of things were on ground before he came in the realities after that spreading and you can see how the thing is triggering so much agitations so much pains so much frustrations so much stuff on ground and that is why i keep saying it i said no matter what happened nigerians should always strive to get somebody that is competent that has integrity 
in the seat of power because if you do that to an extent you have reduced your problem it doesn't matter whether the person is vying for the office of a local government chairman a councillor, a, a lawmaker a state house or assembly member the governor or whatever it is at all levels there should be people that are people oriented that have integrity and competence because that's the only way we can escape this quagmire we are in the truth is no matter how even though we keep condemning the federal level and you look at the state level and then you see that the state governors are actually not doing nothing and you look at your local government and the local government chairman are not doing nothing eventually you find out that no matter how nice it is up there if your people are not doing their own best you will still suffer and that is the, uh, that is why i'm using this medium to call on the people of edo state do not keep shouting hey it's the time for our zone there is nothing wrong in zoning but i can tell you nigeria quickly needs a leader that has vision that has integrity integrity that have capacity that is not being you know wrapped around god for the reason because that is another big issue that if we start discussing today we will not end the discussion and that is what Nigerian politicians like. Those that they will govern over. Those that they will have to control. Let me quickly show you what is happening in Edo State. And when I come back, we'll wrap this up. There are also problems of people's insecurity. Will you want to put to us again? DJ, keep on music. Music, who is your guy? Let's go there. DJ, who is your guy? now you can actually see it right the massive crowd that are actually present to not just see peter obi but to show their solidarity to the level party and you know those that are actually involved it's interesting to see for real how this is actually playing out and um i just hope the people of edo will you know literally do the needful by actually looking for the right person in those positions that will actually help them not because of the grounds of tribe not because of the grounds of religion let's get back to the video and then we'll wrap this up now you've seen it right PO is doing the needful and there is something i love about him for after coming to the edo state once with leaving um olumide to actually do his job then coming back this time around he's clearly clearly stating that listen i am not in any way tied to this guy in the sense that maybe if he becomes the governor i'll be the one trying to collect anything no i'm clearly showing you that i am just in support of him and i want all of you to support him but we've seen others the Edo man is being carried around by by the the apc guy is being carried around by oshimoli because the guy cannot even construct one sentence without making some very serious fallacies and then we have aswe gudalu a lot of people believe that aswe gudalu has integrity competence that is your choice but anything that we have to make Obaseke be the one to be pushing because he wants to become the godfather, I have a problem with it. So I'm going to say this very clearly. I stand for Lumide. If you're watching this channel today, you can stand for the right person. Somebody with no godfatherism, somebody that has been tested and trusted when he was the boss of the NBA. He did a lot of wonders there. 
we need to give people that have the consciousness and the mind of the people or the people that have the people at heart opportunities to go on people that have integrity that have competence that wouldn't love to soil in their hands these are the people that we need to give the opportunity to govern because if you give them those opportunities you'll find that a lot of changes will occur it will no more be business as usual where they collect the money and all they do is to share you will start seeing some development in the state you start seeing some progress in the state and it's important we put that out there Thank God for the move of Alex OT that was very fast. Tomorrow I'm going to be making a video, very important video. I will need all obedience to watch this because Aisha Yusuf literally exposed every truth there is about what happened during the election. How Aburi was the one that actually messed up the election for Peter Obi. And everything there is to it. In fact, Alex Oti first made an, an, an exposition and a lot of people were saying why would Alex Oti just set up a, the stakeholders, call up the stakeholders and before you know, set up a caretaker committee. People did not know that INEC did not even see Aburi as a chairman again so Labour Party was left out of the whole party that is happening. Whenever INEC calls a meeting, Labour Party will be out. Labour Party submitted their own, um, you know, what do they call them now? The list of the guys that are going to work for them during the Edo State election, they rejected it. So Lumi De Apata did not in any way have people that were going to stay as a, what do they call them now? Polling unit, um, a Labour Party polling unit agents. They did not have. He was just going to an election to go and fail. So whatever rigging and whatever mess up happened in that election, it was clear that they wanted to mess him up. I'm going to be showing you that video tomorrow so that you understand why it was urgent for them to set up a caretaker committee to guide the Edo election, to guide other elections and still allow Labour Party to be a party. Abure's plan was to destroy that party and make it zero, null and void. Because he was fighting for what? Selfish interest. And when he finished, he found out that he has started failing. He's coming out now to lie all over. Trying to deceive people. And it's unfortunate. Do you know the television house that is actually promoting these lies? TVC. Bolatinovus Television House. They have never talked about Labour Party before. In fact, when Labour Party was fighting against, was doing all the campaign against their own, they don't, they don't go there with their cameraman. They don't record suddenly they are so in, they are so interested in the labor party that they are the ones now recording granting giving granting interviews let me drop it here guys until when i get the facts together thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe to this channel if you haven't turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop a video you'll be the first to be notified drop your comments in the comment section really love to hear from you have a blessed remaining part of the day i'll see you next time